According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. way 47 and even now you don't remember this place this was our prison where father trained us shaped us into killers for providence now, you don't remember they ripped it out of you wiped it away but I do I remember everything You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities, your client, the top controller, the one they call the constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin, the first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just 
join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Plan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. 
Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Oh, jeez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill. I feel you are violating my personal space. Oh, geez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah, it's strange. The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's unwilling to go inside. All right. Oh, well, maybe he's a vegan. Well, I don't trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent. Okay, everything's good.
it's not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek, 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them. It the same way I do. Well, Richard and I have similar interests, so it's really not that hard to get him to go along with my ideas. Although I have to say, it's been challenging to find a good place for my old microfilm viewer. Right now, it's just collecting dust to get microfilm. Departments of the Richard, you are such a fool! How could you forget the class? All you have to do is remember the dance. It's too hard to So, the other day, I actually asked James about that urn and big thing. Big mistake. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, I can't really be sure. I'm zoned out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used the gramophone for the house, though. Man, that tune kicked off some old memory. Some long-ass story. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all this memorabilia. You know how it was. Interesting. Maybe you should try to spark some of those old stories, 47. Who knows what secrets Janus might reveal? Well, I've learned my lesson.
Janus, Cold War spymaster and the first Providence Constant. I wonder how much he remembers, how little he cares. like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Stand and join us, giving away all these wonderful muffins. Oh, I'd love to, my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently, he needs it for something soon. You seem to have so a many robe things for going Janus. on. West. What could he need that for? Well, when we retire, yes. No way. What's that of? robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47.
This is not good, my friend. Not good. Have a nice day. Oh, I have to tell you, hmm, these are the best muffins I ever had. I was supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nola Cassidy. Uh, can't say that I do. Well, he's uh, a realtor with a taste for the sweet. Good afternoon, sir. I see a lot of blueberries. But would you believe I've never seen a blueberry bluer than in your eyes? Well, if these muffins are as fresh as you, I'll have to come back for more. Hi. Uh, whatever. Hi there. Welcome to Granny's. We guarantee that you'll never reach for a factory treat again. Actually, I'm in the neighborhood right now. Been working on some very promising leads. Yep. No! Just quit it. You're gonna kill someone. Will somebody please help me? Hello? I think we've got a problem. You need to help me right now. Hey, what's going on? There's this rabid bastard strangling people. You have to deal with him. Please. Okay, enlighten me here. Do you have a description? I don't know. I, I didn't get a proper look at him. Okay, thank you, thank you. You've done your part. 
Now leave it to the pros. Stocked up on body bags. Hey, 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 get up! Hey, hey, low. You get up. You got away. How are you? And, uh, who might you be? I don't know you. Hey, you! Hey, Dimwit. I wanted to talk to you about that too. Um, I thought maybe you know, we could increase the staging budget in like places where there's more joint fighting. We could. Well, I don't see why it should come out of my pocket. Fine. I, I don't know. Maybe I could bring some. What? Restroom! Restroom now!
Why don't you go sell a house somewhere else? Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time, you understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. Finally, I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room, with two easy to get to exits. Dark floors, hide stains easily. A room with Lots of potential. Yeah, but that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? The kitchen, gas stove, vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very interesting. I'll just wait here till you get that door open. Nice work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. Frank. Go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again? One Yes, now this is more like it. This I can use. Very nice of And that is Nolan Cassidy taken care of. Both targets are confirmed killed. All that remains now is to find the information we came for, and then get out of here.
You know, my son's got... We tried to have him with the for everyone. One of Janus' old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need... ...now is to find a device to read it on. Drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was asking for murder. Yeah, headed them to the portal. What? Stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic. Bring the tapes over the way. What? I'm sorry, sir. I can't let you... Step aside. I'll handle this. 
Clearly, Jane is, is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. It's the new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal, or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. It's gotta be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's... Well, diaries. It might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the constant. Oh, sh ah, crap. Right in the head? Have you completely lost your mother? Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. 
Well, 47, this is valuable information. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Stay safe.